Welcome to the course registration session for the Arts, Performance, and Design Division. We hope you are excited and thrilled to begin your incredible journey with us. These will be the topics we will review in this session. This session is designed for students who are new to Pima and are ready to register for their first semester. The main purpose is to teach you how to find program information, how to register for classes, and how to connect with your assigned program advisor. Let's get started. An important message to share with you is the mission and vision statements of the Arts Division, which are to empower our community through the arts by transforming lives through outstanding arts education, events, and experiences. You can see the mission and vision statements come to life through the events scheduled every year. Go to the Pima website, pima.edu, Community, The Arts, then click on the 2022-23 season. Here you will be able to see all the upcoming events scheduled for the current season. These are the different programs offered within the Arts Division. We have Digital Arts, which are the Associate of Applied Science or AAS degrees. We have the Digital Arts degree with a Graphic Design concentration and a Web Design concentration. We have the Film Arts and Animation degree with a Film Arts concentration and an Animation concentration. We have the Game and Simulation degree with an Animation and Production concentration and a Programming concentration. We also offer the Fashion Design Career Plan, which can be completed within the Liberal Arts, Associate of Arts, or AA degree. This is a transferable degree. We also offer career plans in Music, Theater, and Visual Arts. These career plans can be completed within the Visual and Performing Arts, Associate of Fine Arts, or AFA degree. This is also a transferable degree. To help you understand program requirements, you will work with our amazing art advising team. Students are assigned to an advisor based on the student's last name. For students with the last name starting with A through H, you will be assigned to work with Dr. Downey Greiner, Program Advisor. For students with last names starting with I through Q, you will be assigned to work with myself, Fabiola Munoz, Program Advisor. For students with the last name starting with R through Z, you will be assigned to work with Melania Federico, Academic Success Counselor. All students who are new to Pima and who need assistance with the new student admissions process will work with Ryan Smith, Enrollment Advisor. An important question you will be asking yourself is, how do I connect with my advisor? Other than using email, you can use an incredible resource known as Pima Connect. Pima Connect is a place where you can find what we refer to as your success network. Your success network includes your assigned program advisor, your division's academic success counselor, your instructors for the current semester, and other support connections offered by the college. Let's take a moment to find out how you can schedule an appointment using Pima Connect. Go to the Pima website, pima.edu, look for the section titled Talk to an Advisor, then you will scroll down the page and look for the section titled Program Advising Appointments. Click on the Sign in Here link and you will be directed to the My Pima login page. Once you are logged into your account, you will see your Pima Connect dashboard. In the box titled My Connections, you will see all the individuals who are part of your success network. Look for the individual who is designated as your advisor, then click on the schedule link. Follow the instructions on the next page to schedule your appointment. As your advisors, we want to ensure that you are able to connect with the college and the resources we offer. We want you to continue moving forward with your education and we want you to complete your educational goals. Ultimately, we want to make sure you are being successful throughout your journey. Let's start reviewing important resources you will use. Be sure to activate your My Pima account. This is your go-to portal for all your transactions with the college. It is also important to learn how to use D2L Brightspace. D2L Brightspace is a learning management system which Pima Community College uses for online classes. If you register in a class that is online, hybrid, or virtual, you will use D2L Brightspace. 
It is also important to learn the three main resources you can use to locate your program information, which are the Pima website, the college catalog, and your My Degree Plan. The first option you can use is the Pima website, which lists degrees and certificates offered by the college. Go to the Pima website, pima.edu, Academics and Programs, then Degrees and Certificates. You can find information either by choosing the division, by typing the name of the program, or by searching alphabetically. A second important resource is the college catalog. To find your program's catalog of record, go to the Pima website, pima.edu, and locate your program. In this example, I am using the Digital Arts AAS program. Click on Program Requirements. Here you will find a list of classes required for your degree or certificate. A great benefit of using the college catalog is that you will find the recommended pathway for your program. The pathway is created by your program's department and it lists recommended course sequence. It is very important that you work with your assigned advisor to make sure you are following the correct catalog of record. A third resource is My Degree Plan. My Degree Plan lists your academic progress so it is tailored to each individual student. My Degree Plan is found on your MyPima account. Go to the Students tab, click on Academics, then scroll down and find the My Degree Plan link. With My Degree Plan, you will be able to see the classes you have completed, the classes that are in progress, and the classes that are still needed. Again, make sure you are working with your assigned program advisor to make sure you are on track. We also want you to understand program requirements. Programs can either be an associate degree or a certificate. The Arts Division only offers associate degrees. No certificates are offered within the Arts Division. Associate degrees that transfer to a university will contain the AJAC. Transfer degrees that have the AJAC requirements are the Associate of Fine Arts, the Liberal Arts, as well as the Business and Science degrees. The AJAC stands for Arizona General Education Curriculum. It requires 35 credits, which equal a total of 11 general education classes. It is a certification which demonstrates to the Arizona State Universities that you have completed your general education requirements. The Arizona State Universities include University of Arizona, or U of A, Arizona State University, or ASU, and Northern Arizona University, or NAU. Associate degrees that are for direct employment will contain CTE requirements. Direct employment degrees that have CTE requirements are any Associate of Applied Science programs. CTE stands for Career and Technical Education. It requires 15 credits, which equal a total of 5 general education classes. Programs also have core and support course requirements. Core classes provide a broad foundation for your program of study. Support classes provide additional knowledge and skills for your program of study. Other important terminology to know and understand are the prerequisites and co-requisites. A prerequisite is a course that is required before you can move forward with another class. For example, you need to complete Writing 101 in order to move forward with Writing 102. A co-requisite is a class that you are required to take concurrently with another class. In other words, the classes have to be taken together. For example, you need to take Math 92 and Math 92 Lab together. Now let's review the schedule of classes. There are two different formats you will see. One format is found through your MyPima account, while the other format is found on the college website. Both formats contain the same information, such as class name and number, in this example, you are seeing information for an STU 100 class. You will also see the CRN, which is the course registration number needed to register for a class. You will also see the method or modality of a class, meaning this section will show you if the class you want will be in-person, virtual, hybrid, or online. You will also see class details such as meeting days and times, as well as the campus and classroom location. Other important details you will see is the status of the class, which shows if the class is open, if it has a waitlist, or if it is closed. 
You can also find out if the instructor approval is required to join the class. The schedule of classes will also show you a course description as well as showing if there are any prerequisite or core requisite requirements for the class. Now that you know how to read the schedule of classes, it's time to learn how to register for classes. Log into your MyPima account, go to the Register and Pay link, then look for the Register for Credit Classes link. From there you will click on the Register for Classes link, then you will choose the term or the semester you want to register for, and you will begin looking for classes. Let's review the steps. Log into your MyPima account and go to the Students tab. Click on Register and Pay and you will be taken to the page to register for classes. In the first example, if you click on Search for Fall, Spring, and Summer classes, you will be taken to the Pima website. Here you will see a definition of the modalities of the class, and at the bottom you can search for classes. You can use all these boxes to search for specific items that you're looking for. In this example, we are going to look for an STU 100 class. Look for the subject code of the class and the course number, then click search. Here you will find all the details as explained to you in the previous slide. Again, it's the name of the class, the credits, the semester, and all the other important course details. If you want more information about the course, click on the information box and it will display a course description as well as any other important information. In the second example, we will take a look at the Register for Credit Classes link. Choose Register for Classes on the next page, then look for the semester you are interested in. Sometimes you will be able to see a spring semester or a summer semester. Click Continue. If you search for classes through the Pima website, you can enter CRNs on this box. Make sure you put in the five-digit number and click on Add to Summary. Then the class will populate on the Summary box. You can also search for classes in this first box. Again, for this example, we're going to use an STU 100 class. Type the name of the class, click on the highlighted section, click Search. Here you will see all the details as you saw them on the Pima website. If you are interested in a class, click on the Add button. This class has already started and that's why the Add button is faded. But for a class where seats are available, you would be able to click on the Add button and the class will populate on your Summary box. If you are not interested in keeping a class, you will choose the Drop option or Withdraw option under the Action items. Once you are all done with your classes, you can click the Submit button and you will be registered in your courses. After you complete your registration, there are important steps you need to take. The first step is to check your MyPima account. Go to the Students tab, Academics link, and you will see the My Schedule section. I am not registered in courses, but if you were registered in classes, this is where you see all the details of your classes including the dates and times you will meet and the drop and withdrawal deadlines. It is also important that you review your method of payment. If you are using financial aid or veterans benefits, make sure you work on those requirements. If you are planning to use financial aid or veterans benefits, you can find that information on your MyPima account. Go to the Students tab, and either click on Financial Aid and Financial Aid again, or Veterans and Veterans again. If you are paying out of pocket, be sure to go to Students, Register and Pay, 
Scroll down the page until you find the section titled My Account. You will see the total balance due. In order to make payments, you will click on My Account Manager. Remember to check the drop and withdrawal deadlines. You can find these deadlines on your My Pima account in the My Schedule section, also on your course syllabus that is given to you by your instructor, and on the academic calendar found on the Pima website. A final important reminder, we are here to support your academic career. We want you to succeed and also want you to have an amazing and positive experience while attending Pima Community College. In order to ensure you are successful, we must all work together. As a student, you will need to become knowledgeable and participate in your own academic planning. As your advisors, we are here to provide the support and guidance you need to help you reach your academic goals. Your ultimate goal is to graduate. We are here to help support your journey. Thank you.